We're asked to determine the relative and absolute extrema from the graph of the function. Looking at the graph, notice how we have a continuous function over an open interval. The interval is open because the endpoints are open points. Remember, this means the endpoints are not included in the graph. And because we have a continuous function graphed over an open interval, we are not guaranteed to have any absolute extrema, which is the case when we have a continuous function over a closed interval. Let's begin by determining the critical points on the graph, which is where the graph turns, or where the graph has higher low points, or where the derivative is equal to zero or undefined. Working our way from left to right, notice here we have a low point, here we have a high point, and here we have a low point. Again, we do not consider the endpoints because we have an open interval. Let's approximate the ordered pairs for the three points. Working our way from left to right, let's say the ordered pair for the point here, this low point, is negative 1.4 comma negative 4.1. The vertical intercept is a high point, the ordered pair is zero comma negative three, and we have a low point down here where the x-coordinate is approximately, let's say, 2.9, and the y-coordinate is negative 12. And now if we have any absolute extrema, we must have at least one point that is the highest point of the entire graph, as well as a low point that is the lowest point of the entire graph. Well, notice how because we have an open interval, there is no highest point of the entire graph because we would be approaching this open point or open circle here on the left. The ordered pair zero comma negative three is a high point of the graph, but of course it's not the highest point of the entire graph, and therefore it's not an absolute max. So for this graph, because we have an open interval, there is no absolute max. So let's go ahead and write none next to the absolute max. If this leftmost endpoint was closed, they would represent the absolute maximum. And now see if we can find the lowest point on the entire graph which we do have, this point down here, given by the ordered pair 2.9 comma negative 12. Because this point is the lowest point of the entire graph, we do have an absolute minimum. So using the ordered pair 2.9 comma negative 12, we say the absolute minimum is the y value or function value of negative 12 at x equals 2.9. And now to determine the relative extrema, which are higher low points on the graph in a particular interval around the point or in the neighborhood of the point. Notice at the point negative 1.4 comma negative 4.1, we have a low point on the graph, but it's not the lowest point of the entire graph, and therefore this point represents a relative minimum. So going to our work, Using the ordered pair, negative 1.4 comma negative 4.1, the relative minimum is the y value or function value of negative 4.1 at the x value of negative 1.4. And then finally, we have a high point at the ordered pair, zero comma negative three, in the neighborhood around, or the interval around this point, but of course it's not the highest point of the entire graph, and therefore this point represents a relative maximum. So using the ordered pair zero comma negative three, the relative max is negative three, the y value or function value at x equals zero. I hope you found this helpful.